Hello, this is Urshin speaking, and today I want to show you how to use split audio captures in OBS 28. OBS 28 has been released just a few days ago, and there's a pretty cool feature which had to be achieved with plugins in the previous versions, but now it's integrated into OBS. So for what can you use this? For example, if you want to listen to music on your stream, for example, using pretzel rocks, and don't want this music into your VODs on Twitch. So, so I'm going to show you now how to set this up. You see a few scenes on the left side, you see my sources, you see the audio mixer, and of course my controls. And at the moment you just hear my voice, as you can see in the audio mixer. So let's try to add some music. We just go to add source down here. We use the new feature application audio capture, which is basically similar to what Discord does. It captures the audio of one application and you can control it separately from everything else. So I click on this. I call it test music. In this case, you see my, my other audio inputs already there. This has been from other scenes. I click on this. Then I'll select pretzel rocks in the background. And I press OK. Now you see in the mixer, test music here. It's already set up. And if I play pretzel, we should already hear some music. However, you would hear it. I don't. For this reason, we go to advanced audio properties. And what I like to do, I put the audio monitoring to monitor and output. What does it do? Monitor is my headset. So everything what is on monitor, I hear on my headset. Output is, of course, what the viewer on Twitch, on YouTube, or whatever hears. I place this. And I'll try to click the play button. And there we go. As simple as it is. So as a little extra, I want to give you a quick extra I would like to give you is what, how can you exclude the music now from your boards? That's pretty simple. Check out your settings. And if you go on output, you see your streaming settings. You see your audio track. You can say, uh, set your standard audio track, what the viewer will hear. Usually it's one. And you can define a Twitch VOD track. So that is everything what is going into the video on demand, which is saved on Twitch. And usually that's on two or on six. It depends which version or which mindset you have. I usually put it on six. So how do I redirect the music just to, to exclude the VOD? Simple as that. If my VOD audio is set to channel audio track six, I just exclude six over here. And that's it. That's everything I want to tell you. I hope you have fun. If you have any questions, please drop into the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them and maybe even do a next video. See you later. Bye and thank you.